When you think of pumpkin harvesting, you might initially picture a simple pastoral process workers moving slowly through open fields, cutting thick green stems by hand and gently setting the fruit into bins. But if you are serious about farming at scale, you know this image barely scratches the surface. Large-scale pumpkin production is an operation rooted in engineering precision, machinery selection, and an intricate understanding of the physiology of the crop itself. The real core of profitable pumpkin harvesting lies in balancing the mechanical demands of lifting and conveying these substantial fruits with the biological necessity of preserving their structural integrity. As a farmer or engineer, your primary challenge isn't just removing pumpkins from the field. It's orchestrating a process that maintains the dense, delicate tissue inside each pumpkin, protects the rind from abrasions that invite pathogens, and does all of this with equipment that can be trusted to operate day after day under punishing field conditions. That is why, if you are seeking ways to optimise yield quality, minimise losses, and ensure a harvest that pays off across the entire supply chain from packing line to wholesale beer, this exploration into modern pumpkin harvesting is precisely what you've been looking for. From the outset, you face decisions that fundamentally shape your harvest outcomes, beginning with the timing of harvest relative to the physiological maturity of the pumpkin. Unlike many crops, Pumpkins are typically harvested when they reach full colour development, which is not merely a cosmetic marker, but a direct indicator of rind hardening and seed maturity. Measuring dry matter content and internal cavity firmness provides quantitative backing to what might otherwise be subjective calls. In many operations, handheld penetrometers, calibrated specifically for cucurbits, are used to verify rind toughness, offering repeatable data points to guide whether a field block is truly ready for machine entry. If you harvest too early, you risk fruit with underdeveloped walls that bruise internally under mechanical stress, wait too long, and the stems become overly woody, complicating cutting mechanisms and risking greater fruit detach failures, leading to unnecessary ground impact. When harvest begins, the machines you deploy must contend with pumpkins that often exceed 15 pounds each, with high centers of mass and wide contact footprints. Mechanical harvesters for pumpkins generally rely on a combination of cutting bars, rotating belts, and cushioned conveyors to lift and transport fruit. The geometry of these systems is engineered to accommodate both the spherical variation of the fruit and the irregular vine positions. The cutting units themselves, typically serrated discs or reciprocating blades, must be maintained with exacting sharpness and alignment. Even minor dullness can tear rather than slice stems, transferring torsional force to the fruit and initiating microscopic fractures that later develop into visible rot during storage. A recurring technical problem is the synchronization between the cutting mechanism and the following conveyor. If the timing lags by even fractions of a second, cut pumpkins can tumble awkwardly, striking metal surfaces and sustaining impact bruises invisible at first but manifesting later as sunken lesions. Many advanced harvesters employ programmable logic controllers, PLCs linked to optical or tactile sensors that measure the presence and velocity of each pumpkin. These systems are just conveyor speeds in real time to match the flow, effectively choreographing the passage of each pumpkin from vine to collection bin with reduced mechanical shock. Once off the ground, pumpkins enter one of the most injury-prone phases, transfer along the main elevator system. Conveyor belt composition becomes critical here. Unlike belts used for grain or leafy vegetables, Pumpkin conveyors often incorporate molded rubber cleats or soft padded slats designed to cradle the fruit and distribute its weight evenly. Even the angle of ascent matters. Steep inclines above 35 degrees can cause heavier pumpkins to roll backward or accelerate uncontrollably, colliding with trailing fruit. This is why harvesters for heavier cucurbits are usually engineered with moderate slope angles, combined with variable speed drives that maintain a steady upward movement tailored to the load characteristics. The powertrain components of these harvesters, the hydraulic pumps, gearboxes and motors operate under substantial torque loads because of the combined mass of pumpkins and conveyors. Over time, thermal expansion and fluid shear can degrade hydraulic seals, leading to micro-leaks that decrease line pressure and, consequently, the lifting force available at critical points.
Regular thermal imaging of hydraulic lines and gearboxes during operation can identify hotspots that signal imminent bearing or seal failures, allowing for preemptive maintenance before catastrophic downtime during peak harvest. Similarly, oil sampling for particulate analysis gives early warning of gear tooth pitting or abrasive contamination that could otherwise destroy a gearbox under full field loads. At the end of the mechanical chain lies the packing or bin filling stage. Automated bin fillers designed for pumpkins are distinct from those used in apples or peppers. They utilize wide, slow-turning rotary distributors and telescoping chutes lined with soft material to slow the descent of each pumpkin into the container. The physics here is non-trivial. Dropping a 20-pound pumpkin even 12 inches onto another can exceed rind compression limits, causing internal cracking. Engineers counter this with devices that control both vertical and horizontal acceleration sometimes integrating low-pressure air jets to gently reposition pumpkins and fill voids without hard impacts. All of these mechanical processes operate under the influence of field conditions that vary daily. Soil moisture, for example, changes traction coefficients under the harvester's drive wheels, which can lead to either excessive slippage or uneven load distribution across lifting elements. In fields with uneven moisture content, you may find one side of the machine digging slightly deeper, altering the cutting plane and causing inconsistencies in stem length. That matters because pumpkins with excessively long or ragged stems are more prone to puncturing neighboring fruit during bin transport, accelerating decay. Dust is another hidden antagonist. In dry conditions, fine particulates infiltrate seals and bearings, increasing abrasive wear. Advanced harvesters now incorporate positive pressure systems in their critical housings, pushing filtered air outward to keep contaminants at bay. Yet these systems only function effectively if filters are cleaned and pressure differentials monitored down area where lapses can be costly. Dust also coats sensor lenses, reducing the accuracy of optical flow control systems and leading to erratic conveyor speeds that undermine all the careful mechanical protections downstream. All of this speaks to a central reality in modern pumpkin harvesting. You are managing an integrated system where mechanical, biological, and environmental factors must align. A single overlooked variable be it a misaligned blade, an underlubricated bearing, or a slightly premature harvest decision can cascade into quality losses that ripple through storage and distribution. This is why top performing operations combine rigorous pre-harvest maturity assessments with daily mechanical inspections and real-time monitoring during harvest. In doing so, they transform what could be a chaotic, damage-prone process into a tightly controlled operation that preserves fruit integrity and maximizes financial return. Ask ChatGPT.